Hi everyone, and welcome to the DeckWizard channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to set up the controller in Windows on your Steam Deck so you can play all your non-Steam games from services like Game Pass and Epic Games, or any old games you may have lying around that you can't get the controller to work for. If you haven't got Windows set up on your Steam Deck, either via dual boot or single install, then please watch my tutorials on how to do this. If you have Windows already installed and want to get games working via the Steam controller, then stay put and we'll get that sorted here. Once you're loaded into Windows, first of all, we need to download and install the applications from the links listed in the description. Of course, we will need Steam installed and logged into. But most importantly of all, you need to download and install at least one game, preferably a small indie game, which you don't need to run, just have it installed. Second is downloading and installing GLOSK 2.06, the global Steam controller from GitHub, which is going to enable input from everything apart from the back buttons, which at the time of this video are not available to use on Windows for mapping. Third is going to be the Xbox Game Pass app, which needs to be downloaded, installed and logged into with a valid membership for PC Game Pass. So let's install Glosk by double clicking the install file, which will likely be in your downloads folder. Once it appears, we want to accept the agreement and press next, next and leave the checkbox for desktop shortcut. And once installed, you want to press finish with these two options selected. This will bring up a new installation window for the bus driver, which must be installed in order for everything to work. Press next, and the screen you're going to see here will be different to mine, just as we did before. Press next, and the driver installation window is going to appear after a few moments. There, you need to click install and finish. Behind the install windows, we're going to see Glosk for the first time. There will be a lot of next prompts before we can start using the program. But once we're finally at this screen, we go ahead and select Create New, which is going to expand the window with several fields. But all we need to do is select the three dots next to this path field. This will bring up a window for us to direct Glosk to an app that when it runs, will initialize the controller input of our Steam Deck to use on our Game Pass games. The easiest method is to locate Windows pre-installed notepad. So we'll select our local disk C, Windows folder, and we need to find the folder called System32. Go into here, find notepad, and choose open. Once that's done, Notepad will register with Glosk and hit Save. If you haven't downloaded and installed a small game as mentioned earlier with Steam, then please do this now. Otherwise, this next step, Glosk is going to tell you that shortcuts couldn't be detected and the Notepad couldn't be added to Steam. Once you've got your game, in Glosk we want to press Add All to Steam where Glosk is going to say the shortcuts have been added and to restart Steam. So hit yes and OK on the dialog box. Steam is going to restart and eventually load and at your library we want to scroll through our games, find notepad and click add to favourites. This will be useful if you have lots of games like me and don't want to scroll through every time and have notepad appear at the top. Select Notepad in Favourites and press Play. You will hear the USB Connect sound, which on Windows 11 is a little quiet. What this has done is run Glosk so the controller input of an Xbox 360 controller is always in the background. You can go ahead and close all these windows and let's try a few games quickly to see that the controller input is all working as it should be. We'll go ahead and load up Dragon Ball Fighter Z, installed from Xbox PC Game Pass. 
and as we can see, the analogues are all accepting my inputs. Closing out a Fire Z, I'm left wondering why my trackpads are no longer working on the Steam Deck. To fix this, we need to do the following with Steam open. Click Steam in the top left and Settings. Here, go to In Game and select this second option called Use the Big Picture Overlay when using a Steam Input Enabled Controller and click OK to save. What this has done is while Notepad is running, our Steam Deck controller has allowed us to use the Steam button in Windows. So press the Steam button and you'll see that we can open the Steam keyboard, configure our controller, or to get our trackpads back, select Exit Shortcut once we're finished with our game. Selecting Exit will bring our trackpads back and you can start using them again unless you're like me and prefer having a USB keyboard mouse for full control. To test that the controls are all working as they should be again, we'll load up Multiverses. Even though this is a Steam game, it will still accept inputs if you happen to leave Notepad running in the background, so there's no interruption. Also, the advantage to having Windows is being able to play games that have anti-cheat on your Steam Deck. Next, we'll take a quick look at adding non-Steam apps like emulators to Steam. For instance, Xenia, which we don't need to run Notepad for. Even though it's running now, it will still work. We just simply add it to Steam from the shortcut, and every time we run Xenia via Steam, it will pick up our Steam Deck controller and run no problem. This is how I've been playing all my 360 games, which you can see many demos in my playlist on the channel. Now. For Game Pass Setup, we'll take a look through some of the games in the list here and choose a game to install that you want to play. Once downloaded, you'll need to run Notepad from Steam again and select your game from Game Pass. Let me show the process for this with Minecraft. I have Notepad, Glosk and Steam all closed and upon running Minecraft we can see that the analogues aren't working and instead we have to use the touch screen to make any selections. Entering creative leaves us stationary and unable to play. So all we do is exit out of Minecraft, open Steam, go to our library and select play on our notepad in favourites. With Glosk all active and upon hearing the USB sound, you can run Minecraft or any of your non-Steam games that can't be added. You'll see everything works as it should and you can now enjoy all your Windows games. If you found this tutorial helpful, please feel free to support the DeckWizard channel by giving this tutorial a like, share or subscribing and checking out my other videos on the channel for games running on various platforms or more tutorials for setup and getting the most out of your device. I also have a Twitter, Discord, Ko-Fi and Patreon in the description if you want to reach out or support my work further. Until next time, thank you for watching and I'll see you later.